CNN has confirmed, indeed, that Delta has filed for bankruptcy protection. Delta Airlines says it will reduce its fleet and probably cut jobs during its... We will either see a resurrection or the death and burial of an entire industry as we know it today. We didn't have a better advocate at that time for Delta in Washington than Senator Johnny Isaacson. We owe him such a debt of gratitude for what he's done for the employees of Delta over the years. Tonight, Delta workers around the world are rallying to fight U.S. Airways' hostile takeover bid. You can't talk about bankruptcy without the hostile takeover attempt by U.S. Airways, and Senator Isaacson was a staunch advocate of Delta during those times. It was uh, Johnny who welcomed us to come to Washington to talk about the problem uh, that that would cause in the industry. He did everything he could on the Hill um, with his fellow senators, with, with our government, to say, hey, Delta has a great plan, great leadership, phenomenal people, and they're going to be okay. Let's not let this happen. The reason I take this personally, I don't want an airline that defaulted on $5 billion in pensions for its employees to buy an airline that's fought to save theirs. He single-handedly um, helped to shepherd the legislation that, that helped to save the pension plan for thousands of Delta employees. He had to get 99 of his colleagues to all vote yes. The entire Senate, no no votes. And that's really unprecedented in the history of the Senate. The Open Skies Agreements call for a fair and equal opportunity to compete. It's all about fairness. You give us a level playing field, and we can compete with any airline. It became clear to us that the Mideast carriers were subsidized and were threatening the future of the U.S. airline industry. One of the first people we saw in Washington was Johnny Isaacson. He helped us get the support of other senators um, on this issue to, to the point now where we were able to get um, really a majority of the members of the Senate to sign on to a letter. And just as long as everybody will commit to a level playing field, I know Delta will win every single time. It's a great airline with great leadership and the best employees I ever saw. Senator Isaacson has, has seen um, what, the, what the Delta people mean to the community of Atlanta, to Georgia, and to really the country and, and now the world. He knew that having a strong, financially healthy Delta was great not just for Georgia, not just for his constituents here, but really for all the people in the United States that he also represents. He viewed Delta as an asset that helped drive economies um, and develop uh, communities. It was like he was a, a member of our family. I'm proud to be a Delta man, a Delta member of the Senate, and a Georgian for life committed to Delta. He's an honest, ethical man who um, Washington will surely miss. Senator Isaacson, to me, has always been the epitome of what a statesman should be. It's just the example that he's set for, for Americans everywhere that, you know, true leadership does exist. Johnny, thank you so much for everything that you did for Delta during your years of public service as a U.S. Senator. I'm just one employee, but on behalf of 90,000, thank you so much. You've made the lives of 90,000 plus Delta employees better through your service to Georgia and your service to our country. And so we say thank you and wish you well in your retirement. On behalf of all of us here at Delta, I wanna thank you for all you've done for us, the state of Georgia and our country. Thank you for your leadership on behalf of Georgia and on behalf of the Delta family. Senator Eisenhower, we would like to say thank you very much for all you did for our community, for our country. Um, thank you very much for all you do for Delta Airlines. Senator Isaacson, Johnny, thank you for all you have done for Delta people. You're an incredible man, and I wish you all the best in this well-deserved retirement.